Today I want to make inchi art. Today I want to make inchi art. What is inchi art? Inchi art is little tiny pieces of art that are one inch square. Little tiny paintings. Yes. And uh, I'm doing it on the porch because I have run out of room in my apartment for art. I know, it's terrible. I need a studio. So anyways, I've got my poster board and a bunch of paints. And you know what? I figured this out that if I paint the whole board and then cut it into one inch squares, it's a lot easier than cutting all these little squares and then trying to hold them in my little hands and paint them. So I don't know what other people do, but I thought it was a good idea. And uh, you know, my shop name is Pickle Wiggins. And so people in the chat room started calling me Pickle Wiggins, so that kind of became my second name. That's okay. I don't mind being Pickle Wiggins. Then my sister married someone, and their last name really is Wiggins, so her name's Wiggins now. That's funny. She didn't know either about my store name. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, Inchi Art, yes. I've got to go get my brushes and, and my water and all that stuff. So, see you. Uh, so I'm going to get some paint out. Here's the palette, and um, the center has black paint and um, white, you know, black and white. Now that I got this nice and wet, I've been able to uh, make some splatters with my brush just by, you know, slinging it onto there, but it's a little wet, so I'm going to just take some paper towels and, and just blot it a little bit so that it's not too much muddiness. All right, so now I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to go have breakfast. I'm going to let it... Whee! Gold pain! Woo! I really like the metallic paints. Um, it gives it a little pizzazz, you know? So, uh, and, and I'm just going to start, um, you know, manipulating this around. Very posh looking. I love gold paint. All right. <coughs> Looks like a little snake head. <laughs> right, just get that. You know, with the brush, you have a little more freedom to do swirls and whatnot. Not stuck to that square format as much. And once I get some of this paint in my brush, I can go like this. Make little spots. <laughs> Fun. Okay, hey, while I was eating, um, it dried, and the sun hit it, and now the glitter looks all sparkly. Isn't that really cool? Where the sun is? Alright. So, um, now I'm going to take this ever so giant T-square, right angle, and I'm going to um, turn my art over and uh, draw square inches on the back because if you draw them on the front, it's hard to see them, and it's a lumpy, so draw them on the back, much easier. So i got to clean the table really well, and then flip it over. Okay. At this point, it's untaped, but it's got all this excess glitter on it, so I'm just going to come out here in the sunlight, and I'm going to make some glitter. Woo! It's magic. All right, get the extra glitter off. Oh. Glitter is like that. It never stays on completely. Okay, now I'm going to... Well, my table looks pretty clean, so I'm just going to flip this over. As you can see on the back, the pencil lines will show up a lot better. So I'm going to draw a grid on this thing. And it's going to be tedious, so uh, I'll, let you, I'll get back with you. As you can see, I'm drawing up the grid. And anyway, I've got little marks on here. I'm lining this up to, and then just go right across. And it's not quite long to that point. So, and as you can see, there's little squares, and you're just gonna cut out all those squares. Now, you know, I made like a bazillion of these, but. Uh, Probably for your own use, an 8 by 10 would have been plenty big, but I'm going to, you know, keep them in little containers and work on them whenever I'm in the mood, so. And uh, while I'm resting, I thought I'd talk about, well, what do you do with these things, you know? I mean, yes, you could actually mat and frame this, which would be kind of cool, and you could hang it in a dollhouse. <laughs> but, you know, you could 
put them on hats, you can make brooches, you could probably make earrings, um, put them in your art journal, scrapbooking pages, you know, use them, like little pieces of treasure, make little rug tiles or mosaic tiles or, uh, you know, put a whole bunch on a big piece of canvas and, uh, you know, sky's the limit. So uh, if you have another idea, tell me about it. I'd love to hear it. All right, back to gridding. <laughs> this part's a bit tedious, but, you know, the fun later will make up for it. All right, hopefully you can see that grid on there. Not sure if the camera's going to focus or not, but anyways. So I'm just going to take some short scissors and just cut out some of these for you so you can see. Now, you can use an exacto knife or a paper cutter or a rotary cutter if you want. Um, I find I make less mistakes if I do it by hand. I don't end up ruining a whole row because I was slightly off with my paper cutter. Or once you cut them into kind of smaller pieces like this, you can probably use your paper cutter. So anyways, there's a little, little square. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Now see how easy that is to see compared to if I tried to draw the grid on the front of the paper? That would have been crazy. Let's go slow. There's one strip of it. So, so I cut. I cut. 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 Turn it off here so you can basically see what it's going to be like. And there you go. A bunch of little inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut out a bunch more of these and uh, take more pictures in a minute. Okay? This is my favorite part, but I'm going to cut it up. of them right here. They make good bookmarks too, don't you think? I think so. And uh, here's mine one more time. So, inchy art. Yes, inchy art. <laughs> Toodaloo.